Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, my name's Aisha, and this is my husband Tim. Tim. So today we're gonna be doing a husband tag, um, or couples questions. Mm -hmm. So um, I have the questions right here, and we're just gonna answer them while we cook some um, arabata. Arabata. Is that how you say it? I don't know. Um. So. You forgot the I. Era. 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 Bi biata. Okay. Um, Arabita. You get the point. It's Arab like spicy. Arabarita. Okay. It's not Spanish. Arabarita. It's not Spanish. What is it? It's Italian. Italian. Oh. So we are going to cook that and answer some of these questions. And you can get to know us a little bit. Where do we meet? Where did we meet? Um, we first met. When did I first meet you? I didn't meet you this first time, but I saw you the first time, and that's when I was like, oh, who was that? Mm -hmm. um, at the corner store. <laughs> the corner store of my house. Yeah, we met at the corner store. I do remember. Do you remember that? Yeah, actually. And, that was the first time we met. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were gonna say that. I was gonna just say we met through a friend that I'm not really friends with. The anymore. friend was there too, so Yeah. And <laughs> um Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I feel like before that she actually brought you to my house so I could meet you. I, I did go to the house one time, but I, I think feel that was like after I went was. yeah, I feel like I met you already at that point. Yeah. Um, what was our first date? Um one of my favorite places, Buffalo Wild Wings. As y'all say, B Dubs. I don't know why I call it B Dubs, but Buffalo Wild Wings. Yeah. Um. That didn't surprise you. You knew we were going. Yeah. You know. It wasn't a surprise. We had actually, um, because we we had talked for a while, um, before we dated, um, and we were trying to set something up, and I would think I was sick. Mm-hmm. Right, I was mm -hmm. sick for like two weeks or a week or something like that, and I was dormant at the time. Mm -hmm. So the first time we met and hung out, it was at the dorms, but it was like very quick. Yeah. Like we just like said hi, and chilled. Like I feel like it was like an hour, right? At we didn't first... even like watch a movie or anything. Yeah, no. Like we literally said hi because mm -hmm. I felt bad because I first the way we hooked up was. He was trying to talk to me, and he kept saying it, doing it in weird ways. Like, oh, happy birthday. Oh, that's a nice shirt. Like, it was, like, not even, like, fully coming. That. It wasn't, like, you weren't, like, making it appearing. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I didn't know you were trying to talk to me. I did not I did know because the friend at the time used to be, like, he would call her and be, like, oh, where's my wife? Where's my wife? And... <laughs> And she was she yeah we didn't talk at that time so um then you finally he inboxed me on Twitter like let me take you out for your birthday or something like that mm -hmm. yeah so mm -hmm. then we didn't see each other until March like because I kept BSing to be honest yeah what was your first impression of me huh honestly. I don't know if this is PG. Uh, it's PG, pretty much. I seen her and I was like, there. Yeah. Girl, you did. That's what I was thinking about. It. But, you know, we got upstairs to the dorm, um, just chilling, talking. And she really was just a sweet girl, honestly. Um, she was quiet, very quiet, but she was a beautiful, sweet girl. And, um, oh, that's yeah. so cute. Honestly, she was just chill, like, she honestly was like me. We were just two chill people. Like, yeah, really. that, that's one thing I had to say about, like, when we first started talking, like, I felt like we had so much in common at the time. Mm -hmm. Like, because I was 19, and you weren't 21 yet. Or were you 21? 22. Yeah, you were 21. Like this time. Yeah, you yeah. were 21. So, we had so much in common at the time that it was like, we felt like we were friends. Like, mm -hmm. I remember saying that, like, when we left, like, Trying to break. Okay. It was like we were friends, like, and we were just 
forced, so it wasn't like forced or anything. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you chill with people, and especially like in college, like I remember hanging out with people, and it was just like, okay, like this is forced, and I'm never hanging out with you again. <laughs> um, it, felt the same way. it definitely felt mad natural. Mm -hmm. And I remember after we had hung out, he texted me like, oh, I should have kissed you. Regular. That's regular. No. That's regular. <laughs> and he was like, I should have kissed you. That's not regular. Yeah. Shy. Like, I was really a shy person. Yeah, no, because I, I remember at the time, like when you were there, I had Jackie, like my roommate, at the, my roommate at the time. Like I was like, I have to listen out because... If you wear, like, I need you to come in and, like, rescue me. <laughs> like. But I ain't trying to do Yeah, no. You were, you were that cool and respectful. I'm a sweet, respectable guy. But, yeah, That's ladies, weird. don't don't meet up with people at your house alone without backup plans. Yeah. Because things will always go left. That was low-key kind of dangerous. I guess I felt like I knew you. But I didn't come off creepy. No, you really didn't. But I'm just saying, just in and general. You didn't know me. She knew about me. I guess. I really didn't. <laughs> no. That my friend at the time was like, they used to they used to be friends. And that you used to date somebody she was friends with. Mm -hmm. That we, was, we were cool with. Mm -hmm. So, I really wasn't trying to talk to you just because. Girl code. Not a girl cool because me and her were like cool cool friends, but when did you meet the family? Oh. Did I meet your family first? No. No. I was dating him. We had dated for I wanna say like it was September when I met your mom was I remember it was fall time. And I was like, I'm not gonna continue to date you without meeting your family. Like I have to know your family. They gotta know me, like if this is in a serious it's a tip, ladies. You you want to know the family because that's how you know if the person is really serious about you mm -hmm. or if they talking to somebody else. It took about six months. And I was like, okay, am I meeting your family or what? And you took me to meet your mom and your dad. I don't think Chris was there. Mm -hmm. And that was September. But you didn't meet my family, like, officially, officially until like November mm -hmm. or maybe I met your parents in October because I feel like you met my parents a few weeks after that and we was like setting up the Christmas decorations you remember that mm -hmm. when you came over well I do remember that actually and I had to jump in of course <laughs> yeah um, and he was helping us decorate and he had ordered pizza I think mm -hmm. right it's kind of like nervous because my stepfather was like you know He's kind of a big guy, yeah. but he's like mad cool. So once you got there, mm -hmm. we didn't feel nervous. Yeah, because yeah. he's like, you know how it's that one person at the party that talks to everybody. Like he talks to all the neighbors, like the people that doesn't know us and stuff. Be knowing his name, like that's the type of that yeah. dad he is. Like he's like that dad. Do I have any weird obsessions? If so, what? Any weird obsessions? Yeah. Hmm. Like having to look huh? perfect for everything. Having to look perfect for everything. I don't think I have to look perfect for yeah, everything. Yeah, she does. She's gorgeous enough to not have to throw on a whole outfit to go to the store. I okay. I've been telling her she could put on some sweats, I just, a hoodie, I, some sneakers, and just keep it pushing. She don't even like wearing sneakers. I'm trying to get I her have into sneakers. Feet. And if anybody with fat feet knows sneakers are not comfortable. I think you usually support fat feet, don't they? Yeah, but then sometimes the mesh sneakers look weird. Yeah, I don't like the mesh sneakers either. Like they're comfortable but like your feet you hang it over it, like you gotta I don't know. Mm -hmm. But I don't, I don't agree. Like I went to the I took the kids to the doctor with this like sweater and like, mm -hmm. like I have my like, fat bladder. Can you even tell that she has makeup on? Why don't we put me on blast like that? I'm just saying. But wait, is that putting me on blast? <laughs> they could have thought this was natural. Oh, so, I like to put put together. So I'm, I like simple things, and I don't, I don't need my makeup to look OD, but I want it to look like polished. Like 
Yeah, not like I just woke up. Shades. Some of y'all be wearing that cloud paint. That's rude. <laughs> We're not gonna be rude. <laughs> um, how long? Oh, do you have any weird obsessions? Um, several. Let's start with like a lot of scary movies. Like he's obsessed. Like I don't like watching scary movies because I'm very spiritual, and I feel like things be trying to attach itself to me or attack me after I watch something scary. And here goes Tim watching a serious movie about the most demonic things and I'm, possessions, everything. I'm like, that's not funny because it really, I'm really sensitive to that stuff. So it bothers me. And he'd be looking at it like it's nothing. Not sensitive to it. Yeah. I know what's going on. You just gotta know what's going on. I know what's going on and I ain't messing with it. That's the problem. I know nothing's touching me. I don't like that. I'm protected. You Cover. are. I'm protected, but you know why you protected? Because I be playing for you at three o'clock in the morning after you watch that movie, oh, and you say you're screaming in your sleep. You. you were protected. So what you saying? I'm saying that I'm Thank the one to be praying for you now, Thank and you, you still continue to watch the stuff Thank that calls you to be. Thank you. I actually stopped watching scary movies. You did recently, but that was your obsession. Yeah, I, I think that's really it. And like Harry Potter style, uh, movies in general. He's really a OD. I didn't say it was anything wrong. I'm just saying you are a little bit obsessed. But okay. Harry Potter I, 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 I get you that. Obsessed. I'm just saying the mo the movies in general are like a, your obsession. I was like, kidding. Um, how long have we been together? How long are you going to answer? I know the answer. So. I know you know the answer. That's why I was waiting for you to answer. No, you can answer. I know the answer. What's the answer? You, I want you to answer. No, this is do a you really know the answer? That's how it goes. The first person always says, I know the answer. I do know the answer. So what is it? You tell me the answer and I'll tell you if you're correct or not. <laughs> it's been like... Ooh, that's the extra tool with the kids. I want to say eight. Is it more than that? Eight years? It's more than that. What? It's way more than that. Okay, just off the strength that I'm 25. And I just said you met me at 19. We've been together for six years. A little over six years. No. Yeah, we talked in 2014. Like seven. I mean, it's getting closer to seven because it'll be seven in like March. Mm -hmm. And we just got married this year, so. I overshot it, sorry. It's a bit of the mean, time I've been with somebody. I never really counted. Yeah. Okay. Um, what was the first thing you noticed about me? That's basically the first impression. No, it's different. How? Because, well, you said. No, that's something physical. My, yeah, that was yeah. Question. That was my answer there. Um. So, that's on you. I don't think I said my first impression. My first impression of you didn't. was you didn't think nothing about me. He is tall, skinny. What else? How you feeling in my first impression? <laughs> I'm sorry, go ahead. So like first impression the first time I met you or do both. But the first time I met him, I was just like, okay, like I don't know, I honestly really wasn't paying attention. So, um, but yeah, um, well, he was so quiet and it was such a quick interaction. Like we just need you to get something from us from the store. He was too young to buy it. And it was friends. So I just I boom, just got about to do something for us real quick. You're talking while you're chewing and eating. That's, come on. I got y'all. Come on. I don't understand. What are you saying? <laughs> Is it good though? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, you munch it. She <laughs> so, I didn't really think too much of it the first, first time I went home because it was like 10 minutes and not even. But the second time, like when we hung out together, like I said, I, I just felt like the vibe was there. Like we just clicked. So... And you see macho. It's my vibe. That's what it is. 
um you just need my chill and i was like i i think i could get used to, to that like because i'm from new york well not everybody from new york is chill but i'm from the bronx it's different go ahead moving on this thing i noticed about him like mm -hmm. was definitely height i was like oh he's mad tall I don't even think I peeped that the first time. She really was. wasn't paying attention. Like, if you know me, I'm in my own world. She was in her own world. Yeah. Yeah, I could tell. Trust me. And what? then the second one was your smile. That was like the first thing I noticed. Yeah. He was really nice. Like like Kobe. Just a little bit. Okay. Right, That's right. That's a piece of that man. I'm just saying. Okay. So, the last question is go get some tea. What is something that you do, something you do that I wish you didn't? So what's something I do that you wish I didn't? Hmm. I can tell you something he does that I wish he didn't do. Hmm. I don't like people touching my face or touching me with their feet. And he thinks it's hilarious to like touch me. You you know if somebody ever touched the back of your knee, like the part of your, it's behind your knee, it's the part that bends. Oh. He be touching there with his toes. <laughs> Why are you touching me right there? That's so uncomfortable. I got pretty feet though, so and I'm not saying if he's nasty. I just don't want any feet touching me, and it's specifically behind my knees. That's weird. That should not even go together. Clearly, I don't. <laughs> Um, one thing that you do, snore. I'm playing. I'm you playing. snore too. Not like a train. You know how your dad snore? Not like a, that's you how like, you snore. That's how you snore. Okay, so we two peas in the pod then, cause my dad wake up though. Ah, yeah, no, and he what? snored just like that. It's just I know I snore. It's just funny. He didn't even believe he snored, and I had to record him one day. So he does and snore. And it wasn't even that bad. So I don't know. That was a light day. I don't let him get to that point where he's snoring real hard because he wakes up the kids. I know you're not talking. I know you're not talking. Your first snore, when she starts to snore, and everybody just shifting in their sleep. Right, Laji? Right? Like, what's going on? That was the number of me into that because right. you know who likes to sleep next to me, like Jay. So he's not complaining. I think that is enough of our fun questions for today. Hope you enjoy spending some time with us. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay. <laughs>